Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And the latest unit has dropped in the game. We now have Proud Giant Fist Dagrul, Dagrul, whatever you want to call him. I know it's all wrong, but <laughs> whatever I say, it's going to be wrong. But I just wanted to give a quick overview of his kit and what he does and my initial thoughts on him after using him a little bit during the stream. Uh, my showcase video will follow either later today or tomorrow, depending on my work schedule. But, so he is a single target damage dealer, which means that all three of the meta units in the Light 2.0 are single targets. Shion, Rimuru, and Dagrul are all single targets. They're also all physical damage dealers, which I kind of found interesting because if you watch his alt, um, one, that is not a single target alt, and two, it is not a physical attack. He literally like does the Majin Vegeta final explosion and lit actually goes Super Saiyan <laughs> in his animation. So maybe I'll throw it in here uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, Majin Vegeta. Getting very, very big final explosion vibes out of that. So, he uses a fist. He is an attack growth, so I mean, just more DPS. Um, he is an interesting unit because of his skill set. So, like I said, single, single target. His first skill transfers another random character's soul card times two to self, and then increases own soul's damage by up to 5%. Now this is Earth Benimaru's orb steal, essentially. I know soul card is kind of weird, but it is the same skill as Earth Benimaru, except for, you know, the secondary effect, increasing his own damage by 5% instead of Earth Benimaru's um, earth resistance down. So, he already has very good value, because we all know how good Earth Benny is with that orb steal. And then you bring him in, steal two, make a six hand of whoever, and then swap in your DPS. And then you have a six card send, turn one, and guaranteed alt, guaranteed protection gauge, turn two. It's really good. And putting him on the light team means you can get Gazel's alt, turn two, you can get Shion's alt, turn two. It opens up a lot of possibilities. And it it's only 25 points. Like, you can use that turn one, no problem. You start with 30. So that's a very good feather in his cap right there. His second skill, Pulverizing Fists, decreases all targets' light resistance by 35%. Now, 35% seems very good. Like, we know what Pierce Resistance Down does. Uh, we've seen it both on... Um, uh, not Alice, but Ranga is 30%, the new Rimuru is 30% for Pierce, so Light Resistance, 35%, you would think would do a lot for you. But based on initial testing during my stream, it didn't really do too much, and it really surprised me. Like, we increased our score, our, our damage output, by like 4,000. Like, we were doing with like the Light Boost with 34% Pierce power for Xion. Um, just the light boost by itself and her, and her boost and we pierced, we did like 78k. And then when we added this 35% on, we did like 84k. So it was, it was not a huge, drastic increase in damage. I will do more testing on it to figure out like exactly where it falls and how effective it is and if it's actually useful. But initial testing leads me to believe that it's kind of meh. It is a low cost skill and it will... Uh, allow you to do more damage but maybe it's better used in like a six card send of fully boosted greens with Xion instead of alts. Again, more testing will be required but it is definitely not as good as Earth Benny's second skill being that 30% um, alt gauge and 35% damage boost to oranges or whatever those are flipped around. Um, definitely not as good as that skill but also Earth Benny is an AoE unit and we've always talked about how if Earth Benny was a single target, he would be broken beyond belief. And essentially, that's what Daggerel is. Even without the orange boost, he still does the six cards, um, he does the orb steal. 
So he seems on paper, his first skill is very good. His second skill uh, seems moderately good. Is he worth your crystals, though? I don't know. And I honestly, I don't have a good answer for you right now. Like, if you have Shion, if you have Shizu, and if you have Rimuru, is it necessary to pull Daggerl? I don't think so. I don't. If you don't have Shion, Shizu, and Rimuru, is Daggerl worth it? I mean, his first skill alone, stealing orbs, if you have, like, Gazel, then, I mean, he will help very much with Gazel. And if you have Leon and Hinata, like, if you have the old light meta, he'll fit in well. Like, he's not boosting greens or anything that makes him, like, unrunnable for a team that runs on oranges, right? Because the old light meta ran on oranges. And so if you can definitely use him to get a six-card send of uh, Gazel. Like, we use we use Benny Maru to get Gazel's six-card send. So now we just have a light unit that slots in very well. So it's kind of circumstantial. If you have all the new units and you don't have any more crystals, I wouldn't worry about it. If you don't have any, if you have all the new units and you have extra crystals to spare and you're just that kind of person like I am, sure, why not? Throw a few multis at it. Um, if you don't have any of the new units and you think he looks interesting and he and you have, you know, a semi-built, decently good old light team, he'll run fine. But before I give like a concrete you must summon for Dagro because he is an irreplaceable aspect because of his first skill, let me do my showcase, let me do some testing, and then I will get you a definitive answer after that. But that's his overall kit, uses a fist, his EX board, let's go over that since that's now a thing, um, his EX board, he is another self booster, so now it's like I think every single unit that has come out after the space meta is a self booster. And everything before that is a team booster besides the Octogram units. Uh, and maybe a few here and there. But he also gives himself Pierce Power. Which is cool because you know that works well with the current team. His most important trait though is his actual trait. Because if you unleash a 6 combo attack of greens, increase his own Pierce Power by 10% for the next turn. So, if you are using Shizu, and you send a full 6-card hand of greens, and Daggerl is slotted underneath uh, the new Shion, I mean, Shion's all about upping that Pierce power, right? And if you add another 10% onto that, yeah, I mean, you're going to do some really interesting damage. So I, drew, I have to test him out in both those scenarios. But that is just the overall kit. His skills seem good on paper. Are they good in practicality? I will find out for you, and I will let you know. But that's it from me, guys. Let me know if you summon for Daggerl, what you think of him. Do you think he looks interesting enough to summon? Are you happy with his kit? Put it down in the comments below. But that's it from me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you later.